All right, let's freaking do this thing. Woo! Heading to Costco Wholesale. Please make sure your seatbelt is fastened. For any questions, press the call support button to speak with a rider support agent. Okay, that was fun. So, two things we learned. Uh, I can get the same car back, which is nice. Uh, and also, the seats move by themselves as soon as you get out of the car. As I have already explained, yes, but, uh, wild. So don't mind me, I'm just gonna plug this back in. And just not, to, just to make this video not 70 million years long, I'm gonna go ahead and add an extra stop. <laughs> All right, let's go over there. Holy shoot, bros. Trip updated. Holy shoot, indeed. We are driving east of Arizona Avenue and straight towards the railroad tracks. What are we going to do? We're gonna turn around. Boo, boo. <laughs> okay. That's fine. opportunity to grab my drink. There we go. Oh yeah. So we're getting people staring off the left side. I'm gonna go ahead and wave. Maybe. If she looks back at me, I'll wave. <laughs> today. It's great. Good times. station thing uh, it would be very very nice if uh, well <laughs> I, I, I think multi-stop trips are designed in a way that assumes that the, the nearest car is no more than four or five minutes away and oftentimes that's very much not the case <laughs> 
So if you dare to step outside the car uh, at a multi-stop, then you could end up stranded at wherever you are for 25 minutes, which actually just happened to me a couple days ago. I just went, I popped into a McDonald's for something for two minutes and then ended up having to Uber back to where I was going. Um, so if I could pay by the minute to hold the car close, just like, please, please wait for me. Like, I, uh, yeah, that would be superb. It's like, give maybe, maybe give it a max of like 10 minutes or something. Like, I don't know. Char charge me extra if I don't make it out. I, you know, so something like that. I'm sure they've thought about it. And if it was a good idea, they would have done it already. But I think that that's probably my biggest bit of feedback. Um, like, like actual legitimate feedback, not whiny, complaining feedback. Looking back at uh, In N Out Burger now, and uh, it looks as if my my lovely three point turn spot is uh, long gone now. <laughs> yeah, it never deserved to be there, but uh, <laughs> it was fun while it lasted.
just in time for the unprotected lift. Unless this is one of those lights that doesn't do that. Uh, well, it has the sign that says left turn yield on flashing yellow. But uh, there might be certain times of day or density. Uh, we'll see. How long is this video? Uh, 20 something minutes? Yeah, sure. Prices are up since we're busy. Yes, I know. Prices are always up. Up, up, up. Uh, no, they're not always up. I just pick the time and when they're busy because I am a sheep and I ride at the same time as everyone else. So we all make it busy. <laughs> So if, if they're busy, am I going to be able to uh, mess with the strip? Yes, I am. Stop added. Very nice, very nice. Okay. It's that Home Depot from my second video. Or was it my third video? It was one of those videos. Nice. Almost there. Don't forget your belongings. Go away! Ah! <laughs> I don't care. I don't. I just don't. What? Uh, okay, no posted stop sign, but there is a line there. And there is the word written stop. Okay, yeah. So nicely done then. Nicely done. Anyone ever seen Guys and Dolls? You know, nicely, nicely. Did we go into that Home Depot spot right there? Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Uh, no. The answer is no. Okay. All right. You're here. Please make sure it's clear before exiting. I'm gonna call the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, Luke, the car has 118 miles. Sorry, I didn't say it earlier. Okay, and have a nice day. Last time, way more people watched till the end than I thought. Thanks for the burrito comments. Love you guys.